there's a consistency aspect, right? Every, every, I, I always assign a single TA to mark the same problem, you know, many hundreds of times. So students can't say, oh yeah, but my marker was tougher than, you know, their marker. If you did question two, it got marked by, you know, that person. Um, and then the other thing that's way better than, than annotations by hand um, is that you can reuse annotations. So you can set up a, quite a detailed annotation uh, and in fact, for my, uh, my TAs, I say anybody who gets below about 50% you know, percent on a particular problem, they need to have a fully worked out solution to that problem posted. So one of the things the TAs do, do is work that out in a text box with all sorts of text so they can have control characters so that it can look like uh, the way you might write an equation, for instance, in, in uh, you know, uh, on a piece of paper. Um, and then they just, they just, you know, anybody who doesn't get, you know, enough points, they just put the whole thing in, they paste it in. So you can have a whole bunch of kind of stock comments, you know, like you got this order of magnitude wrong, you forgot to take into account this, this unit or whatever, and they just, they put them in. And so everybody gets pretty consistent feedback as opposed to, you know, the first, uh, the first, uh, student getting really detailed feedback and the 500 student, you know, a big X, you know, big check mark, like, no, yes, good, bad, <laughs> you know, so, so there's, there's, I think, way more consistency uh, across it. So, so I'm, I'm a big crowd mark fan.